Let's go. You're an all-terrain armoured personnel carrier. G'day Scrappers, Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic and I'm in a new world as always and I am working on a new project. Now before we get into this I want to mention that I am still doing the obstacle course, the community project, but no one sent me anything yet worthy, well not no one sent me anything, nothing, not, nothing to do with worthness, everybody's worth something, but no one sent me anything at all. So if you're still interested in doing some of the uh, the obstacle course stuff and want to get featured here in, in a video and have your little bit in um, a cool map build, please let me know. Um, but back to this video. So I have, um, I saw a, a an APC the other day and I was like, dang, I want to make one of those. So I thought, stuff it, we're going to make an APC. And it doesn't look like much right now, but if we come over this side, that looks more like an APC. Right now, it's in the middle of its... Um, pretty build so I'm kind of just like working on the aesthetics here oh do I want to I'll leave that that doesn't look too bad uh, I like this the look of it like it actually looks like a you know I think they call it or their unimog or something along those lines but um, I've pretty much got the drivetrain sorted out you guys have seen the drivetrain made before this one's a little bit different um, it's very much like the Bobcat build if you recall the Bobcat having just four um, wheels and it was able to rotate left and right using skid steer like you do on a tank um, this is exactly the same I think we're already off the lift that's fine let's have a look at all the pretty orange lines everywhere it's beautiful there's actually three bearings on every single axle on this um, on this APC, so we'll get in the driver's seat and I'll show you how she runs. Probably a bit weird right now because of all the extra weight I've added on, but it turns pretty gracefully. And I'll tell you what, if you turn up these electric engines, she drifts, mate. She drifts like a like a beauty. Oh, I'll show you afterwards though, all right? So for now, I'm going to work on the aesthetics and then the next part, we're going to work on a functioning turret for a second player to jump inside. I really want to share that with everybody as well. Um, I just need to figure out some things, you know, like I'm going to put... I don't want to cover this whole thing up. So, I want it to look sexy. I want you to look sexy for my my viewers, obviously. And just because I've got that, you know, urge to want to look sexy all the time. <laughs> um, oh, we can cut out this stuff. Put that in there. Anyway, I'll continue going on along this uh, along this side of the APC and then once I have finished with probably just going to leave it like with the top off nothing better than having someone with the top off um, <laughs> putting the turret in after that so yeah I'll see you in a minute guys well actually no it won't be a minute it'll be like two seconds bye so we have pretty much got the side of the APC done I've also done the front and the back I'm pretty chuffed how this has turned out i could use probably some like i might get into doing some detailing in a little bit but the basic design looks all right this is the back door and uh i'll show you in a second how that works to get in it you're gonna need to remove the lift i'm gonna have to oh. so there's an issue obviously with the character um trying to get out of seats where the roof is above their head not gonna work so to get in and out you're gonna have to push two and it lifts up my little hat and out of jump. So we can jump back in easily. Two will go down. We've also got this at the back for our uh, second player to enter the vehicle. And then we can drive around and shoot stuff. Be great if they added some kind of projectile turrets. Oh, I'd love that so much. I think I said that in my 35 suggestions. A couple of people said the same thing. It would be an amazing thing. So I've got a bit of an issue though. So the turret is not going to be centered kind of a poopy situation we got here fellas but i'm thinking it'll be fine uh what i really would like to do is have it like yeah it's, it's gonna have to just be offset there is nothing i can physically do about it unless i rebuild the whole thing and then it'll be off center and then the steering wheel will be off center and i'll be even more upset not gonna happen i'll be upset i need to have some spaghetti so i'm thinking like we could have it here, across here we'll just make a bar for it to sit on which is lovely all right our bearing is going to go right here in the in the left of the middle 
which is cool. And then we'll make uh, a nice little platform out of wood because wood is nice and light. Get rid of the lights. Speaking of light, uh, we'll just make this as even as possible. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, computer games. Do your thing. Right, get rid of that. We are going to probably put on a toilet seat. Get that tooty seat on there. Actually, yeah, because I think you can hook up the toilet seat to those. So that's what we want. We want to have a toilet seat on here. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. We'll need another electric engine though. So we'll grab this, put the electric engine down here, and add you to the... Oh, no, we cannot. Raspberries. All right. I think we might have a little bit of trouble, possibly. Um... No, I reckon we'll be right. What I'm going to do... So I didn't actually explain this before. If you've never seen this sensor thing before, I use it quite often. I discovered it many episodes ago and we're going to rebuild it here just for you just because i like you and i want to share all the stuff with you um so what you'll need is a sensor hot bar is not big enough man you'll need two sensors okay and we're just going to use this little area down here for our lovely um oh our little it's a little switch, that's what it is. Um, then we'll put this here. I think we can do this. Yeah, yeah, alright, I'm under control. Had a, having a brain fart here. Um, we're going to need another engine though. And this is going to need to go up a bit more. Oh, do I bother? Like, I could go to this full extent where, where... Where the turret would rotate all the way around. I'll do it. If it doesn't work out very well, we'll get rid of it, alright? So, um... We'll hook that up there. That up there. We need to get rid of our tootie. We'll just remove all this. And we'll need to put a second bearing on. Like this. This is exactly how I built the, um... The wheels, by the way. So, two sets of bearings and whatnot. To control different directions so then uh, we want to hook up each individual bearing to this all right and you want to make sure that these two are opposites okay so then we're going to put this on here right and then we're going to use buttons buttons are our lifesaver right now and what we'll do is we'll use the button here and here um, oh you know what we're gonna even have to do again no, no. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of this, right? We're going to have to put a block here, then a bearing here, then a block here, then a bearing here, and then our sensor indicator here. All right, then what's going to happen is you can't hook up buttons directly to bearings, can you? Surely not. Yeah, no, no. That's fine, that's fine. If you might hear someone laughing, that's the missus. All right, we'll put this in here. So we'll hook up this bearing to one controller. This is like a very intricate and elaborate setup that we have here. You could probably make this a lot easier, but it, it's all right. We'll hook up the buttons like that. Um, and then what I want number one to do is we'll make it ro rotate this way. So blue, it's like 5, 30, 15 degrees should be fine. And this one can go red 15 degrees. All right. And then what should happen is we should, all right, if I can explain this very quickly. Our two buttons are hooked up to the seat. The This button is on the left. Let's see. Oh, diddly. Um, that's... It's okay. I've actually just gone full derp mode here. Uh, what I can do is get rid of this, get rid of that. Uh, just have one here. All right. This one can go into that sensor. Put one here. This one can go into that sensor there. All right. So this time we'll hook these up again. Uh, you can go blue 15. Okay. You can go blue 15 as well. 
Now, sensors should work. Maybe that's not enough. 15 might need to go 30 degrees. And it's probably going to be a little bit... Oh, man, that's pretty cool, though. <laughs> hey, it worked. Actually worked really well. So, to explain this to you properly, is kind of a bit all over the place. It's really not too bad. You just press... Let's look at one single button press, right? One button press activates this single controller, which rotates this pillar here, right, in front of this sensor, which then activates this engine to turn this one piston in one direction. And the exact it's a copy, and it's just going to turn the opposite the other piston the opposite way. So we got a left. It's a little bit delayed because that's how the um, controllers work. But we can we can rotate this around. All right. Now I need to build a housing and a turret, and I will cut that out. We'll you'll see the build once it's completed, and then I'll work on some aesthetics, and then we're done. I reckon. So hang around for that one. Oh boy, this thing is pretty cool. I think I'm fairly happy with how it's turned out. And let's have a look at this turret on top. Get in the sunlight. Nice and pretty. Make sure we get out of here using the 2 button. Check this out. <laughs> the turret turned out really awesome. I love it. Look at this thing. As off-center as it is, it's not that bad, you know? Like, it's... it's it's doable. Um, I think maybe some more features on the side would look okay, I think. But for now, I need to fix this little bit of OCD that I have. With this, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. If you have any suggestions... Oh! God, you're such a peanut! <sighs> I need to <laughs> rebuild the back door. OCD got the better of me, guys. I'll rebuild this really quickly. Then we'll, go, we'll come back to the finished project in a second. There we go. I put a couple of lights on there as well. Chuck those on. We need to put some on the front, too. Let's put these down here, more so. I think I prefer them there. We also do need some, I reckon, right there. And then right there. That looks cool, man. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Now, I might actually get in in amongst it. Oh, I can't even get in there. How can I do this? Can we turn these up? Oh, gee, I don't want to do that. Let's turn these up. That one. That one. Oh, uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Turn all these up. Got to remember to push that too. Otherwise... Things go horrifically wrong. Can I crawl in here? Ah, no. Nah, look. Oh, no, wait. I didn't go Didn't go as horrifically wrong as I anticipated. Oh, I didn't lie, I swears. This is... <laughs> just kick me out of the car. Just got to get the sweet spot. All right, there's a sweet spot. No, I can't get it, eh? Doesn't matter. Should still drift like a beast. Wow, actually looks very cool driving around. I love it. Let's go some all-terrain stuff. It'd be cool if I could add, I could add suspension on this, really. Let's go. You're an all-terrain armored personnel carrier. Let's get up the top of this mountain here. And I think that'd be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this little episode. I really kind of dig this build. It looks really cool. It looked a lot better than I thought it actually would. Limited with my skills and scrap mechanic and detail, as well as the blocks. Let's get off here. Whee! Oh, we rolled her. Oh, well. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button. Show your support. Leave any suggestions you have for future projects, or this one here especially. My name is Menace. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.